Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to create a page query, and add pagination buttons, which control the query results. We added two dummy buttons on our page, which we will use in order to go, to the previous, and next page of the results. We will also display information, about the current page, and total pages. First, let's add a new action file. Note, you can add as many queries, as you wish, in a single action file. We are showing different queries, in different action files in our tutorials, in order to be more clear for you. Add a name for your action file. Right click steps, and add a database connection. We've already created a database connection, in our previous tutorials, so we just select it, by clicking the load connection button. Right click the connection step, and select add database page query, from the database actions menu. Add a name for your query. The default records, per page is 25. You can change this in the limit field, by entering a different number. Also you can leave the default value in this field, and change this later. We change the limit, to 15 records per page. Then, open the query options. Select and add your database table, as well as the database table columns, that you want to use. Click the OK button, when you are done setting up your query. Do not forget to save your action file. Now, let's create a server action executor. Add a name for your executor, select the, run on DOM ready option, and select your action file from the drop down. Click the OK button, when you are done. Now, let's add a repeat region on our page. Expand the data element, under the server action executor that we just created and select the repeating data element of the query select repeat region and click the insert button bind some data from your data source inside the repeat region we want to show our product names click the insert button and we are done binding the data now let's set up the paging controls first we will bind the page number info. Click on your page, where you'd like to show the current page number. In your query, expand the page group. And select, current. Then click the insert button. We do the same with the total pages information. Now, select the next button. Open the Behaviors panel, and click the Add New Behavior button. Select Control DMX Zone Server Connect Action Executor in the DMX Zone menu. Set the action to Run, and select your Action Executor from the drop-down. Then, click the Data Override button. Select Offset under the Input Data tab. Expand the Server Action Executor, under the Available Data Bindings section. Then, expand your page query. And then expand the page and offset elements. Click the binding, called, Next, located inside the offset group. And assign it as a value, for the offset. Click the OK button, when you are done. Click OK in order to apply this behavior. We do the same with the previous button, this time selecting the previous binding as a value for the offset. Let's preview the results. That's how easy it is to create a page query, control the results with previous and next buttons, and display information about the current and total pages. 